Today I'm gonna show you a comforting family style meal and it is one pot chicken and rice. It's done up Middle Eastern style with some very warm flavors and a few veggies all in one pot with the rice and chicken. So good. What's up guys, I'm Susie with TheMediterraneanDish.com, your number one resource for Mediterranean cooking. If you are new here, subscribe and follow this channel for more delicious videos every single week. Before we do anything, we are going to put together a little spice mixture that will jazz up our chicken. This is all the comfort right here. All spice, ground all spice. This is fragrant and warm and all the good things in one. If you haven't used all spice yet, oh, it's gonna change your life. This you can find on TheMediterraneanDish.com, just hit the shop tab. We've got black pepper, everyone should have black pepper at home, right? A little bit of cardamom, that's right. Flavor party right here, very warm, a dash of turmeric. And this is just for the chicken, you know? Here we go. I like to mix up my spices, you guys. Whenever I'm using a, a, an umber of spices together, I like to mix them up because this gives you a good way to evenly coat your chicken. We're gonna hit up our chicken with some kosher salt. So we're gonna season the chicken on both sides and then we're gonna let it rest while we work on other things, okay? Then go in with the spice mixture. Don't be shy now. Turn it over and do the same on the other side. You wanna get every single bit of the chicken nicely seasoned. Uh, how many chicken thighs you say? Somewhere between six and seven. And these are small, so I'm not gonna cut them up, but if they are huge for some reason, you can cut them into a couple, you know, halves. Go in with the kosher salt again. All right, and then we're gonna go in with our spice mixture. Here we go. Yes, all of it is going on the chicken, okay? So now we just let the chicken rest for a few minutes, oh, 15 or so. Get your pan going, get your rice soaking. I actually have my rice soaking in some water. I am using some basmati rice right here. And it's gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes to soak. So these two things are happening right now and I'm gonna see you in just a minute. So you're gonna wanna grab yourself a nice big pan like this, nice deep pan with a lid. Okay, because everything is gonna cook right in here, all right? Let's turn the heat on to like a medium high-ish heat. And we're gonna drop ourselves a good bit of extra virgin olive oil. The good stuff. I like to coat my pan, right? Yeah, there you go. We're gonna go in with our chicken. They can snuggle up fine, but they need to all be touching the pan, okay guys? Look at that, look at that. That's why a big pan is important. Mm. Here's a pearl of wisdom. This is, this is wisdom from my mama. <laughs> do not rush the chicken. The chicken needs to be brown, so do not rush it. I'm boiling two cups of chicken broth right here, and that will be used later. We're gonna set the chicken aside for now, and we're gonna return it to the pan later, but for now, we're gonna make room for the rest of the stuff. It's all right if we have some chicken bits going on here. This will all be deglazed once we add our broth. We're gonna go in with some onions, some carrots, some frozen peas and some chickpeas. That's right, these are just from a can, the chickpeas are. And the peas can go in frozen, that is absolutely okay. Give this party a toss. Don't forget to season along. Just a pinch of kosher salt to help this party sweat. And what you're looking for here is for the onions to change color a little bit, for the veggies to soften some. It's not gonna cook all the way through, but that's okay, we have time. Okay, we're gonna go in with the rice now. This is basmati rice, as I said before, two cups of it. It has soaked for a good 15 to 20 minutes. That helps it cook quickly and evenly. I'm gonna toss it in. Oh 
yes. Let's hit it up with a little bit of kosher salt. And then again, a little bit of cardamom and allspice. That's right. We got to infuse the whole pot with flavor. So not too much, about a half a teaspoon of allspice and a tiny pinch here of the cardamom. Good things. Okay. Ready for it? We're going to nestle our chicken right in here. Beautiful. One, two, yes. Don't forget the chicken juices. Oh, yes. So much flavor. We're not done adding flavor, you guys. A bay leaf and a couple of small cinnamon sticks. Of course, we need our broth. Two cups of it. Oh. You need a cover for your pan. We're about to turn this party down to a simmer, cover, and let it cook for a good 20 minutes or so or until the chicken and the rice are both done. It's going to be so good. Moment of truth. Now what would complete this meal for me, you guys, is a big salad, so definitely check out all the salad options here. For the recipe for one pot chicken and rice, head over to the Mediterranean dish.com. I will see you later. Ciao.